You've been driving a truck for 35 years. Yeah, since last August. I've been home two days. Oh, man, I don't even know where to start. What is the worst diarrhea you've ever gotten from a gas station sandwich? <laughs> oh, God. You know, going to the truck stop and eat, you're going to have diarrhea. Call from Bailey. Hello? Hello? Hi, are you, can you turn off the TV? Are you on the... Um... Oh, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Dad, where's the remote? <laughs> I'm with my dad in the truck right now. Just a second. He's you're with your dad. Wait, you're with your dad in a truck where there's a TV. <laughs> We're in a semi truck. He's a truck driver. That's cool. Um, yeah. What? Uh, wait, you're wait. What, so there's a TV in the semi truck. Yeah, he um he has like one of the big semi trucks. He has a shower and like everything. Wait, there's a shower in the semi? This is like an RV. Yeah, it's yeah, it's kind of like an RV. Yeah. That's cool, man. What um, what where what are you guys doing? Um, well, we're in Texas right now, and we're in, in, in Amarillo, Texas, and we're broke down. <laughs> do you do you work uh, with your dad? No, no, I'm just traveling with him. That's cool. What do you, where what what do you where are you guys traveling to? Um, well, we're supposed to be going to California, but he's gonna get his truck fixed tomorrow. Um, what's so you guys are broken down? You guys are on the side of the road. No, we're at a shop right now. You're at a shop. Yeah, like a, a they fix the truck. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So you guys are just kind of sitting around in the truck while it's getting fixed. Yes. Okay. Cool. Can I talk to your dad? Yeah. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? Not much. What's your name? Dwayne. Dwayne. Dwayne, the the traveling truck driver. There we go. What's what? What's life like, man? What? How? How long have you been driving this truck for? I've been driving a truck thirty-five years. You've been driving a truck for 35 years? Yeah. You must have seen some crazy shit along along your 35 years. A lot. A lot. Oh, man. I don't even know where to start with my questions. Do you have time? I don't know if you have anything else to do. I feel like I got you in a good place right now because I don't... I can't imagine you have anything else to do. You literally can't go anywhere. No. Can't do nothing. Till the Great. Month. Hopefully Great. get it fixed tomorrow. So. Um... Uh, this feels like a base question, but I might as well ask it. What is the, what's the craziest thing you think you've witnessed over these 35 years? <laughs> oh, my God. I was delivering local in Minneapolis area. And I was backing into a dock, and I hit something. And I go, what the hell is that? And I thought they put a dumpster outside the dock because not be backed inside of a building, but it's pitch black. And I hit a parked car. And I got out, and next thing you know, here comes a naked blonde, then a naked brunette. So that's the craziest shit I've seen out here. Wait, they there were just two naked girls in the in the parked in the car. car. Yes. Weird. And alcohol was involved on their part. Weird. Weird. Oh yeah. Did, what now now where what's the farthest distance you've driven in one day? Uh That was on paper log, so I probably did 1200 miles and when we had paper, now we got computers. Hard, we can't lie no more. Hmm. Would uh, did you used to lie about how long you've driven for, like, for to make money or something? Oh yeah, you'd work twenty-hour days, twenty-one, twenty-two, whatever it was, and I'd leave Minneapolis, drive to L.A., and L.A. I'd go to Chattanooga, 
and I might lay down for eight hours back then. And that was mm. 25 years ago when I used to do that kind of driving. Now, uh, what is the worst diarrhea you've ever gotten from a gas station um, sandwich? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know, just going to the truck stop and eat. You're going to have diarrhea. You're going to shit everywhere. <laughs> Now you must have you must have like how do you how do you do food because I assume you've been um, doing this for thirty five years and I assume that you're not exclusively eating at Circle K's and other uh, gas stations because I don't think you could ma- no. be st- would still be alive if that was how you did it so how do you do it Oh God I mean now I eat out of the I got a stove oven I got it all in here. Okay, so you can and, cook shit. Uh, but, yeah. Um, but you just stop at truck stops, eat, and, or you stop. There's a, the, I don't know if you ever heard of it, the big Texan restaurant. They got a 72-ounce steak. If you can eat that in an hour, then it's free. Did you, did you successfully eat it. that in an hour? No You've never tried it? No, God, no. Would that not be the greatest accomplishment of your 35-year career? It would be. Hmm. Um, what the hell else was I got? Oh, yeah. Um, which gas station has the best food from your 35 years of experience? It, it used to be the, I'm going to say, the Petro truck stop used to be a good one. Now... They all went downhill. Mm. They're all going to fast food. They're taking their restaurants out and just putting all fast food in. Mm. Mm. So you get tired of Subway, McDonald's, and Arby's, and all these truck stops. You get tired of eating that shit all all the time. What, What do you think about when you're driving? Oh, my God. What don't you think about? I mean, you think about everything. It sucks being gone from your family. I mean, since last uh, August, because I've been home two days. But we are doing it for financial reasons because we're paying off a lot of bills. So you're telling you're saying from August of of 2022. To now, April 2023, you have been home for only two days? Two days. Wow. It's crazy. Wow. And so you're on the, you're just, and every single day you're, you're just driving these long, crazy distances. Yep. Wow, that's gnarly. Uh, is it, is it usually like that? Uh, no, I mean, anymore, you're going to drive maybe a 700 mile day, 740. And you just, we can only drive so many hours, 11 hours a day. So, but, but I got to tell you too, and, uh, my daughter was at your show there in Chicago, uh, but it was when were you in Chicago? Just what a couple of weeks I was ago? Chicago, I was in Chicago, like, yeah, a couple of weeks ago. And her boyfriend was up on stage with you. Oh, wait a minute. Who is her boyfriend? Tristan? Do you remember DMT? Oh, yeah. Some guy, there was a guy who came on stage to tell, talk about how he fucking would make DMT in his attic. Yes, yes, yes. Dude, <laughs> have you ever have you ever done his DMT? Oh God, no, God, no. I, you know, I get drug tested too much. Right. I haven't did drugs in God thirty five years. So that's that that's that that sound that uh, are, are his words spoken like a man who is uh, on a podcast that is being uh, released to the public. <laughs> um. So I'm curious. Uh, it's cool that you have your daughter with you. Or is she? I mean, that must be really nice to have somebody with you, right? Like you're mainly. You alone. know, it, it's good because it's probably her last trip. She's 
18. She's homeschooled. And so she does everything online. And she probably ain't going to want to come with me anymore. Oh, did she used to come with you a lot? Oh, all the time. Oh, yeah, okay. She'd come with me for a month at a time. And this time she's going to be out probably three weeks with me. And she's homeschooled. So she's like on the road doing school. Yes. Wow. Um, and is there a teacher that comes with you or is it just all over Zoom? No, yeah. Yeah. It's just all online. Classes. Wow. You got Wi-Fi in that thing? No, I don't. No, I don't. She just runs off my, the hotspots off the phone and that for everything. Yeah. Um, Fascinating. And uh, you're are you are you married? Oh yes. And uh, does your wife ever come with you? No, I wish she was. She don't. Hmm. What What does she do? And that she describes uh, not a school bus, but the fan picks up kids and drops them off. So both of both of you guys do the driving, the transporting. Yeah. Okay. Just she's home all the time, and I don't know if I'm ever get home anymore. Is um is your daughter your only uh, kid? I have one. My wife has one, and this is ours together. Oh, okay. So okay. she's the baby. Do you get to um and your your other kids? Do you get to see them very often? The one in Houston every now and then. The one in Fargo, I never, I'd never get to Fargo. So, so you appreciate tattoos, my friend? Do I appreciate tattoos? Yes. Um, I've, you know, I, I, uh, I, I appreciate tattoos. I have no interest in getting one myself. But um, why do you ask? Are you, do you, are you a tattoosman? Oh, I got a, just a few of them, but. I got one. Uh, I got. I'm into the Flintstones, but <laughs> <laughs> I got one of Fred banging Wilma's do- doggy sound. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you have to. You got to send us a picture of that shit. I don't know. How, I don't know how, but um, I, I, uh, my daughter can figure out how to do all that. Okay. I, don't I can't. I don't even know if I, I can't even show it, but um. When did you get when did you get a tattoo of Fred banging Wilma? God, I've had that for Oh my god, when did I get that one? Probably 20 25 years ago, maybe. Now, did you get it on your like like uh like the crux of your elbow so that when you like like flex your arm back and forth <laughs> it makes it so that he's thrusting? No, 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 no. Um, you where is this? You got it up on the bicep. Okay. Yeah. And I'm after yeah. 25 years. Does like does how does it look? Has it faded at all, or is Fred still uh, um yeah, you know going it, strong? It, it, it still looks pretty good. I have to ask you what insp- what inspired you to want to get that. <laughs> God, uh, I seen another tattoo, something like that, and I was like, I knew I was with the Flintstones, and I was like, I got to get one. Um, now, uh, would you ever get one of um, what's the mom from the the Jetsons? Oh God, what is her name? You gotta get the, uh, you gotta get a you gotta get a Jetson sex one on the other oh, that's arm. The daughter. Uh, I don't know his wait. Oh, has his wife something? Oh, Jane, 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 his Jane. wife. Okay. Yeah, Jane and jo- George, Jane and George, George Jetson. Okay. There we go. Yes, you should get a tattoo of them fucking. If you're looking for new tattoo oh. ideas, I could do that. <laughs> um. <laughs> Dude, hell yeah. Hell yeah. What, do you have any other tattoos? Uh, I got a Dino. Then I got one of Fred 
holding pebbles when she was a baby. <laughs> we almost named uh, we almost named our our daughter Pebble. I like the, you know what this is kind of cute. Like your body's like a comic strip. The first panel he's there we go. fucking his wife, and then the second panel there's a baby. Uh, why, why, so this, you, this is like a lifelong thing for you, the Simpsons, and uh, not the fucking Simpsons, the Flintstones. Yeah, my wife was babysitting a neighbor and that many years ago, God, I couldn't even tell you how many years ago, 27 maybe, 28 years ago, babysitting a neighbor, and before cell phones and all that, she was on the phone talking to a friend, and about my body part, and she called it Fred. That girl started calling me Fred from then on. So wait a minute. Say, say this. I say got. this. Say this one more time. Who they started calling? You said something about it. They were talking about your body part. My wife was on the phone talking to her friend and called my body part Fred. <laughs> and she <laughs> was what? babysitting this little girl that was two, and that girl started yeah. calling me Fred. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. So your your wife is talking about your dick on the phone to her friend. There we go. And she calls it. And she calls your dick Fred. Yep. And then the little girl, and then the girl she's babysitting starts calling you Fred. <laughs> it's hilarious. Goddamn. Well, I'm. It's good she was calling uh, uh, your penis Fred and not Pebbles. No, oh, yeah, no Fred. <laughs> Or maybe she, or maybe your penis is Fred and your balls are pebbles. <laughs> you take Fred and you go bam bam. Yeah, that's and, right, bam bam. <laughs> um, have you? What do you think of the Flintstones movie? I don't know if I've seen the new. One. I mean. I, I haven't watched any movies in a long time, like at a theater or went out. Um, what is, so I'm I'm still curious about The Road, because it seems it's, it's such a unique lifestyle and you've been living it for so long. It's very nice to hear that your daughter has been coming around. So you said this is her last trip. How, how are you feeling about this being your daughter's last trip? Is that mm-hmm. emotional for you? You know, I'm going to miss it. Uh, I wish you, I mean, just because, hey, she's 18, or at least she still likes me. You know, I mean, kids, they get older, they hate their parents and shit like that. But the only other way I'm going to be able to get her, and uh, me and her would do motorcycle trips together, so I have to do a motorcycle, motorcycle trip one of these times and to get her to go with me again somewhere. Huh, I like that. The mo- you know, the, you know, after driving a big fucking like sixteen wheel, sixteen wheel semi truck, eighteen, yeah, eighteen. You know, you, it must feel so freeing to be on the motorcycle, being like, let me ditch sixteen of these wheels. That's right. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Do you do you anticipate that you'll um uh be be doing this uh for for many more years in the future? Uh, you know. I told my wife, I'll drive till 70. I will retire. I won't work to 70 in one day. There's no way in hell. Yeah. Yeah. So I got another 11 years left. Hmm. Um, what do you want to do when you retire? Uh, drink, get high, and be out riding the bike. Man, so yeah, because you can't. Um, hopefully, can't not at the same time. Oh, hopefully, hopefully, you're not doing all those at the same time. <laughs> I can't um, do it. So. Um, so you can't. You can't. I mean, you can't. They like drug test you, and so you can't even. You know, you don't even have like a like a little bit of time off here and there where you can drink or, or get stoned because you're always drinking. No, you, try. Can, you, you can have some cocktails and stuff like that, but smoking anything. I mean, they could call me tomorrow to go in for a drug test. Right, 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 right. So, mm. it is hmm. I um, give up everything you work for. Yeah, of course. Um, what's t- what's have you been to all fifty states? 
Uh, haven't been to Alaska or Hawaii. The only two okay. I haven't been. What's What's the worst state? Just really, if there's a state that you hate or a place in America that you hate, just, I want you to right now, if you can, just throw everything you've got at it at how much it sucks. Uh, probably Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. Ah. I just hate that. It, it, I mean, traffic sucks, everything there. Mm. Mm. I'd I'm rather going be in to LA than, than going to Atlanta. Do you hate LA too? No, I don't mind LA. That's I mean, that's where I'm going. Yeah. Huh. That's so um, why do you why do you if if it's traffic that is the main thing you don't like about Atlanta, why do you like LA better than Atlanta? No, it's better. I think the traffic there ain't as bad. I mean for all that traffic in California. It ain't it ain't really too bad. Hmm. Mm. Um. Hmm. What's what, okay? What's the best state? Oh God! You get out there in the middle of Montana because nothing's out there, and you like nothing. That's right. Nothing's there. Up the mountains in the snow. All right, on a on a three, uh, just I know I asked you this question again. I know I was I know I know I asked you this question, but all right, it's just on an average day. It's two p.m. You're driving through Montana. Maybe you got the radio going. What's what's are you? What's what do you look? What are you thinking about? Oh my god! It's that I mean you know when we. When I die, that's all you do is think all day. You're like, why? Why did I choose? choose why did I choose this for a living? Right. And that because you're gone, and it sucks. I mean, you're gone from your family, everything, and you miss a lot in life of your family. Yeah. Do you does does how do you, do you do you have conflicting feelings about what you've chosen to do? Mm. Not really. I mean, after I decided to do it, the first year of driving sucked because you're gone. You're not used to being gone. Then it was like nothing. Yeah. I drove local home all the time, but you make more money on the road. Mm-hmm. Um, if you is there any like other career options that you thought about before you picked the truck? I would have been a cop. You could. You would have been a cop. You said. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's tough too, though. Oh yeah. Worked That's at a prison, things. did all that shit when I was young, and then I was going to go in. I would have went, but I didn't want to go to the police. Without college, they wouldn't have hired me. I would have had to go work at the Gary Police Department, and I didn't want to work in Gary. Gary, Indiana? Yeah, Gary, Indiana. Good old Gary, Indiana. Did, um... Wait, wait, when when you worked at a what were you doing as, at the prison? A guard. That's a that's got to be gnarly. Oh, it. You see shit you don't want to see. I bet. Did you did you ever have to break up any fights? No, not really. I worked at I worked a good door. I'm not gonna lie. The prison okay. I worked at was. They worked outside the prison. They worked on the highway department and stuff like that. They Most of them had less than a year to do. So they don't want to mess up. Yeah. Yeah. So everyone, everyone there was trying to get out on good behavior so you didn't have to uh, break up any, any shankings or anything. No. No. That's good. What's, um, are you, is your daughter, is your daughter, daughter going to go to college? 
she don't know yet. She don't know what she really wants to do. Hmm. Hmm. Well, um, I hope she doesn't start making and selling DMT. I think she could do better than that. <laughs> I hope she don't make that shit and sell it either. <laughs> She's laughing at me right now. <laughs> um. Well, shit, man. Thanks for talking to me about all this stuff. This is uh, this is cool. I even though um, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad I caught you. Uh, uh, while your car was broke, I'm sorry your car broke down, but I, I am I'm glad it, that it breaking down led to us Yo, having this yeah. nice conversation together. Yeah, I just don't like to break down. I mean, you don't expect to spend thirteen thousand dollars. You know, <laughs> it's on shit. Man, isn't there a fucking? F- I'm gonna think about you now every time I see the Flintstones. Isn't there a fucking? Um, is there a Flintstones? Are they, are they rebooting the Flintstones? Are they going to, like, make jokes about Fred being on Twitter or some shit? I don't know. I don't know. Do you have many... Do, do you have a third Flintstones tattoo that we haven't gotten into yet? No. Just no. No. Okay. All right. Uh, and I'll send a picture if I can figure out what to, where to send it to yeah, well, you can. I mean, look, if you want, you can text uh, I, the number. Oh, the my number. Daughter said she sent it. Oh, she. Your daughter sent she it. Sent it on Instagram. Oh, she sent it on Instagram. Okay. Um. Uh, here, fuck it. I'll look. At, I'll, I'll look at it right now. Hold on. I'll do. A, I'll do a live reaction of this because I can't. I don't know where the live hell I'm reaction. gonna post it. Let me see. She sent it to me on Instagram. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me. Can you? Can you ask her to send it to the the number that she's texting? Yeah, yeah, she will. Okay. Um, is she also? Did you get her into the Flintstones? Yeah, yeah. What's? Why, well, by the way, what's in these trucks that you're driving around? I haul for AT and T, and it's all for self stuff that I do. It's all for for what? Cell towers. Oh, oh! So you've got, you, you're hauling cell towers around everywhere. Jeez, uh, parts for it. Yes. <laughs> Wait, I just got I just got the picture. You just got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, my, dude, he looks in pain. <laughs> these guys, these people, both of them look like they're they're not having a good time. He has hairy balls. It looks like he's crying because he's like sweating and. <laughs> yeah, he's like he's sweating. There's drips of sweat coming from his head, and there's drips of sweat coming from Velma's ass and from her head. <laughs> um, she's wearing a necklace. He's got he's got his thing on. This is the he dude. He looks so uncomfortable in this fucking picture. Right now. <laughs> But um, that's pretty legendary. Goddamn! All right, I'll have to find a place. I have no idea where I'm. If I'm, maybe I'll make this a Patreon. I'll we'll figure it. Out. Maybe I'll just. I mean, I'll just. My description of it can be enough. But yeah. Well, thanks, man. What's your name again? Hey. Dwayne, right? Dwayne. Yeah. Dwayne. Dwayne. I, you know, I'm glad we take so much for granted in our lives. You know, like like the fact that my fucking cell phone works, the fact that I can have this conversation with you right now on the phone is as a result of your hard work hauling these towers across America, and I just want to say thank you. Hey, we appreciate it. We appreciate you, too, because we can listen to you and all that. What do you listen to in the car? Are you a music guy, podcast guy? You, you know what? 99% of the time, I don't even have the radio on. Really? I just want it quiet. I just want it quiet. Really? So you're just met. You're like meditating all the time. Yeah. Wow. You must have life figured out. No. I wish I did. Because mm-hmm. if I had it figured out, I would have been retired by now. <laughs> um... Well, shit, thanks, Dwayne. It was nice talking to you, man. Um, here, uh, uh, why don't you put your daughter back on the phone? I'll say, I'll say bye to her, too. Okay, here she is. 
Hello? Hello, Bailey. Hi. Um, how are you? Thank you for letting me talk to your... Thank you for... Uh, did you introduce your dad to the show? Or I don't know if he yes, even knows what this is. <laughs> Um, yes, well, I thanks. Did. Thank you. Thank you for, for that. That was a, that was a fun conversation. I don't know how much of it you were able to hear. Some of it. Um, how is it? How, what's next for you in life now that you're, um, you've completed your travels with your dad? Well, I'm going to go back to Indiana and visit my boyfriend. And I'm going to go back home and, um, Graduate, yes. <laughs> um, are you do you are you planning on doing like college or anything like that, or going into the trade, or are you gonna, do you want to do you want to drive your both your parents drive things? Are you gonna be do Uber? Oh gosh, no. <laughs> I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Okay. Well, um, mm-hmm. I I I I think you will live. Uh, for full life. It sounds like you have a nice family, man. That's cool stuff. Yes, thank you. Um, is there anything that you or is there anything that you or your dad want to say to uh, the people of the computer before we go? No, thank you. Have a nice night. Hey, you too. Take care, Bailey. Bye. Bye, Dwayne. Goodbye. Have a great evening. Hey, you too, man. You take care. Yeah, thanks, brother. What a great call. What a great call. Um, thank you again, Bailey and Dwayne, um, for taking taking us with you on your journey across America. Um, this this uh, Velma uh, and Fred tattoo is pretty funny. Uh, oh, fuck it. I'll post it in Discord, maybe. I don't know. Or, you'll, or I'll never do anything with it at all, and it'll just be for me. And you know what? Yeah, because I like the I like the idea of people in their minds picturing what it looks like more than um, just showing it. And also, listen, if you here's the thing, if you're listening to this and you if you're listening to this and you really want to know what Fred fucking well, uh, what Fred fucking Velma looks like. Buddy, it's a click away on the Internet. If you want to Google that. If you want to have that forever etched into your internet search history, that's the, that's the only price, okay? Because there's free Rule 34 Flintstones hentai a click away. Which is, it's funny because um, that's the most anachronistic thing that could exist is, sim- is Flintstones Rule 34. Because it's it's such a comment on the future, on the internet era, at just how quickly you can pull up an image of Fred fucking Velma, and it's it's um, uh, that in contrast with what the Flintstones is all about, which is uh, you know rocks. It's really beautiful. It's really a statement on something that I haven't figured out just yet. But thank you again, Dwayne and Bailey, for gracing us with your presence. And, um, Gek, bless you. Call from... Aiden. Hello? Hi. What's going oh my on, gosh, Aiden? gosh, everybody was right. You do sound different through a phone. Why do people keep... So- well, everybody sounds different <laughs> through the phone. I don't know why people keep saying that everybody sounds different through the phone. That's why I... That's why on my Reddit all the time... Or, like, I... That's what it is. No, I, people, I know what it is. It's the, it, it's the mic quality. Yeah, well, it's the... Also, I, I... Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Sir. No, you go ahead. Oh, well, okay. Um, so I I know, again, no chat, but um, Socks on the Beach did spell my name correctly. Um, I'm an avid anti-A-I-D-E-N um, spell. I don't really care um, about the other Is, is so- Socks on the Beach is a chatter and they correctly spelled your name? Well, okay, so yeah. you are not A-I-D-E-N. No, nah, that's like the second wave generation of Aiden. It's like the white wine mom version. What are you? Oh, I'm A I D A N. You know the O G A I D A N. Yeah. Oh no, A I D A N. A I D A N. Well, listen. You know me. I'm gonna forget your name in about five seconds. So no, the spelling no, yeah. is is 
in another you i like how much i for like and i it sucks and i know it, it i don't know what it is with my brain where i'm not bad with where i'm bad with names and stuff um but the sp- like figuring out how to remembering how to spell your name is in another universe that's like i'm not evolved oh, no, enough absolutely. of a creature to have that information no, in my no, brain that's just- that's a nitpicky thing on my part. No, no, All you're good. okay. I no, you're okay, and I appreciate you calling in. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, it's funny. I get like, I people on people always say like, oh, the calls are faked, or it's like the same person calling in every time, and it's like, well, yeah, the mic, if it, the microphone makes it look like, um, uh, well, it makes I it mean, sound like it's the same person. It's a totally different quality. I mean, I think that's why you sound uh, like different. Because you're on like a, I don't know what kind of mic you're using. It's like a Yeti or something nice. But it's like way higher quality than whatever you're calling on. So I think it's just a way different quality. The same way like you'll record yourself on like a nice mic and then listen to yourself on like a phone call and you're like, you. Well, I'm done talking about audio engineering. I want to know about you, Aiden. What's going on? How can we call it? It's okay if you don't have a reason, but if you do, hit me. No. um, So I called in specifically because I am starting to do a 90-day, what they call a dopamine detox. Yeah. Basically, just like take a break from all different kinds of like crazy stimulation. So like um, video games, uh, alcohol, weed which sucks um uh tv shows uh literally anything that could possibly like give you happiness you just gotta kind of cut out and then just like only do like i guess like reading and stuff that's kind of like lighter but um yeah i'm on like i'm not very far into it i'm about on day four but like already like um i've been feeling it a lot well, it's nice to know that uh, my stream releases no dopamine in your brain, and so it's okay for you to um, see. You, know, you have fall it on. into a gray area. So, um, music and podcasts are fine. So, I've been listening to your podcast. I was listening to your most recent one right up to this, and I was like, "Oh shoot, he's streaming the night since it's Monday." So that was kind of hype. Huh. But um, yeah, no. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh well. So, okay, so. So you're not allowed. You're allowed to listen to podcasts. I assume you're not allowed to like f- uh, crack addict scroll uh, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, social media too. Yep. Yeah. So one thing on that actually is bizarre. So every time I've tried to do this in the past, I finally cracked it. What ended up happening, like taking a break from video games or taking a break from something else, what ends up happening is your brain notices the deficiency. And it tries to make up for it in other places. So that can either be social media, YouTube, regardless. So higher, high dopamine activities, like take, for instance, I take a five day sabbatical from video gaming. What's going to end up is by the second day, I'm going to be just accessing YouTube every other like second, just because I'm not getting the same level that I got before. Um, Someone in the chat was talking about like legal addictions or whatever. And I, I honestly believe that like, dopamine or like overindulging in the reward system is like the biggest like freaking addiction out there all right so you're day four into this thing you're allowed to listen to podcasts um i guess you're allowed well i guess you're allowed to be on twitch um yeah okay all right so well the twitch part was mostly just because i wanted to call in right right okay so well, I'll give you a pa- I won't tell who I won't tell your sponsor um, oh, that done. you called me. Um, what so of your vices of the things that give you dopamine, which ones like you know got you off the most? What what were like the biggest uh, uh, devils? temptations for you was it porn was it sugar is it weed what's what are your big big vices so definitely sugar and video games um that's another thing too is like cutting out sugar that has been crazy because i never realized how much sugar is in everything you consume it's fucking insane um, yeah it's so crazy and i mean i live on a university campus 
So they're able to get away with like pumping so much sugar into everything you eat because I mean, where else are you going to get food? So, um, yeah, no, it's, it's wild. It is bizarre. But, um, more than that, I'd probably say sugar and video games more than anything, just in terms of taking up my time and just unhealthiness. Um, what kind of video games? Um, honestly, uh, usually I'll end up playing like, uh, Overwatch with some buddies or like, we'll end up playing like Jackbox or Minecraft, just like the typical, like, oh, do it with friends type deal. Okay. I mean, I, you know, if you're doing it with like friends, that seems like it's not, um, you know, horrible. Well, that's what it is in the offset. And then I start to break off and do it on my own and then fill the rest of my time up. So it's no longer like a group activity. Okay. And how many how many hours a day were you playing video games? Honestly, um, any time I really got free time. So at least like two to four hours every day. Okay. Yeah. Which I mean, um, I mean, doesn't sound like a lot, but add that to social media and right. everything. Just... Yeah, you know I've been playing a lot of uh, Switch. I've been playing like all the Zelda games on there and all the Mario games. And yeah, I'm, having a, I'm actually I'm having a great time. Um, Absolutely. Because um, I used to spend my free. I'm not a big like. I haven't seen any of the TV shows or I haven't seen any movies. Um, but I I realized that my I used to spend my free time just like scrolling uh TikTok or Reels or YouTube or whatever the fuck and it was kind of like trash, but at mm-hmm. least with video games you know I'm I am focused on s- something that feels intentional right like you can I de- yeah. I decide to turn on my Switch and play Zelda and experience it as a thing as opposed to like I'm. On TikTok, just looking at things that are upsetting, which and, and, I, and I found myself there. I didn't decide to be there. Um, yeah, no, exactly. I think that's also the same reason people get pissed off with multiplayer games and like feel wildly depressed is because at the end of the day, you're not getting anything out of it. With camp- sure. I, uh, campaign games like Breath of the Wild, you feel like you're actually getting a sense of accomplishment. I know you're talking about like. Uh, with that other guy who felt, um, I think he was calling about Monica dating sim or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Regardless, yeah. talking about how you uh, saved a village and it was like a form of like escapism, but at the same time, you actually felt like you were that kind of hero aspect. I so, did, I mean, yeah, like, I did say that, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, mm. I guess my concern is like, okay, what happens when you shut down that computer? I mean, like, yeah, that was awesome. Now you got to like focus in on real life. You have all these stresses and right. anxieties and stuff. And hey, you felt that momentary relief. But then like all that happiness, you're only deriving from those sources. So it's just you kind know, of it's, like a feedback. Yeah, it's fun. It's very fun. I, I've thought about that, right? I, I guess like I, I sunk a ton of time into these Zelda games. And when they were over, I was like, oh, I didn't. Oh, I'm, I still have to go back into real life. But then I'm like, well, I, you know, when I de- fucking die, you could say the same thing about that. Um, yeah, true. But that's, I don't, I don't think that's a healthy way to look at, you know, being alive. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, you, that's, you know, that's, on, you can't, you cannot refute that. But I don't, um, I, I don't, I don't have shame over the time I've spent playing video games. Oh, I've probably, no. you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours into Super Smash Bros. Melee and, you know, uh, at least a few hundred hours no, into the Switch so far. Yeah, and I, I just, like, you know, don't have any shame. I just, what were you going to say? I'm talking over you. No, I was agreeing, like, Super Smash is bomb. Um, but, yeah, no, I'm not, by all means, I'm not discounting that at all. I'm on the same page. Like, all of the time that I've spent video gaming, totally. But um, I've also, like, especially into like the past few years um i've suffered with like ocd and depression more than anything and and also adhd so trying to get to the bottom of those things and understanding like okay what can i control about my life to improve it um in the past i've tried cutting out video games and dopamine like i said what i ended up doing was just uh filling it with something else and then I'd rationalize my way back into it. Um, so I'd be like, oh, well, I'll just play a game with my friend, and then it would just fall back in. Because I don't think people realize how easy it is um, when you're, like, addicted to something like this to be like, 
oh, well, I need to message somebody on Instagram or Snapchat. And because, I mean, it's a form of communication. And then I'll leave it alone and not be addicted. Yeah, but that's yeah I do all the fucking time. Yeah. Um, but in terms of, like, physical symptoms since I started doing it, um, they're a lot stronger than I expected. Like, and not just, like, subjectively. Like, the first couple of days, I felt exhausted for no reason at all. Like, it felt mm. like it wasn't boredom. It was just, like, I was felt purely, like, drained a little bit. Mm. I'm, I'm coming out of that, like, with a vengeance, so I'm feeling a lot better today. But that and I, I felt like I had cravings. Like, I kept on thinking of ways that I could, like, get dopamine. There's also this really bizarre, like, muscle memory thing where I kept on, like, um, going to, like, Safari on my iPhone and, like, typing in YouTube or the news only to find out, like, hey, I'd block them on those, like, passages. So it's, like, it's yeah. really bizarre to come in to terms with the fact of, like, how ingrained it is in you without even realizing. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You No, no, no. You, uh, you, you, that's one of the scary things is when you realize that you're, like, you've programmed yourself to do all yeah. this shit. No, for sure. Um, and, 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 ever Oh, go ahead. Go, no, no, you go ahead. Um, have you ever seen The Social Dilemma on Netflix? I have. I thought it was kind of cheesy, the, like, dramatizations and stuff. I agree, the, the dramatizations. But I think what they addressed was, like, the best it's been addressed so far, just with the f idea of, like, it's not personal. It's not, like, execs on, like, Instagram or TikTok or video game makers are malicious. If they want you to, like, suffer or anything. Or like throw away your life to them, but it's a business, and fundamentally yes, the goal of the business is to make profit, and you make profit by increasing engagement. So yeah. I think that focus, without questioning the potential like fallback, just kind of jacks the whole thing up. And it's also weird. I must have said this. On, I'm, I'm sure I've said this on the podcast a thousand times, but it is so crazy to look at uh, like a, just a timeline of human existence. I mean, I guess yeah. all of existence, and see the the infinitesimal dot on the infinite timeline of existence in which this stuff has even existed, you know. Um, and yeah. it's only going to get exponentially crazier. Now, I'm impressed with you because you did. You are um, do you're uh, hitting everything at once, right? A lot of people are like, "All right, I'm going to quit sugar for 90 days, or I'm going to quit the internet for 90 days." But you're like, "I'm quitting all of everything that gives me any happiness in the world um, for 90 days." And, and but that's the exact thing is that if you leave anything up, it's simply going to be a substitute. You're just going to fall back on something else, and eventually you'll rationalize your way back into it. It has to be complete and total, in my opinion. And I mean, okay, okay. I'm not and you've. And you've and you've you've tried this a few times before and it has not worked. Several times, yes. Um, I'm I'd like to think of myself as like a productivity buff. I've found trying like tried to find various ways to like deal with procrastination and that sort of thing. Um, so like I have tried this a ton of times, but every what's the farthest time, you've got? Um, hmm. on my own accord, yes. probably like a. Probably, honestly, probably like five days. But okay, so we haven't you haven't even broken your record on this uh, current streak. But I wasn't doing the same thing. I was I was allowing for substitutes. This is my first go at like cold turkey, and so far it's like I don't even have like the same. Like I can tell there's a big difference rather than just substituting it. Because substituting it, I felt like I was still wasting my time on something. But now it feels like I'm actually fully committed. If you weren't talking to me right now, and because uh, is this conversation giving you dopamine, you're talking to another person. I mean, I'm talking to like a gecko. So you are I talking mean, to a gecko. It, do you have Do you have the desire to jack off onto a donut and eat it, and then play thirty rounds of? Overwatch. I don't know why I said the thing about jacking off onto a donut and eating it. I guess that was that would be like a, um, you know, the uh, the. Answer no, the no, it's, it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. I'm a, I'm it's a metaphor. 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Or would it be an analogy? I didn't take enough English for this. I don't think they would talk about this in English class. But did or do you have the desire Probably. right now to do these things? So that's like with the cravings and stuff. It's like it's so fundamentally background. It's like, of course, you got those ingrained habits. But like, yes, like every single like not every single second like you're able to kind of tune it out. But take, for instance, like uh, like the amount of times that I'm just like, oh, I feel anxious. Let me check my phone happens way more often than I thought it did. Like, I thought I checked my phone with purpose, but no. Nah. Same thing with Overwatch. No. I, I, I thought I would like rationalize and be like, Hey, um, let me let me actually like uh, play a game or two, make myself feel good. But th- I'm realizing that's never the case. It's purely just like a cycle. A um, it's a it's a like built-in reaction at this point, a uh, built-in yeah. pacifier each for, and it's crazy. Yeah. I think I was projecting on you when I said the thing about jacking off on the donut, but I'm not going to talk about that anymore. No, no, um, no. All right, before we go, I want to know from you just before we go, what what is yeah. what surrounding this? What you are in school? What do you like who you are as a person? What do you what do you study? So, I'm studying uh, BIT and marketing management, but like okay. I'm at like it's my sophomore year, so I still got like a lot of time to figure out where I want to go with it. Okay. Um but overall, yeah, it's good. Um I got a girlfriend uh this semester, so that's pretty hype. Uh, we actually knew each other for like seven years. Um, so, I mean, we knew each other for a while until, but then she came back to, yeah, whatever. We uh, reconnected. So that was pretty hype. Um, That's cool. But yeah, um remating with my best friend. Overall, things are good. Aside from like, you know, <laughs> mental wise. Well, but, so you have, yeah. so, this, so you're doing this for 90 days? Yeah, that's my goal. Do you it tell me and like, tell me tell me honestly? Yep. Do you think do you think you're gonna make the ninety days? I do. Um, okay. I think because I have the mindset now that like I'm gonna like of course everybody's gonna die one day, but like if I'm going to use up like three months of my life to like commit myself just to find out something, like just to like commit those three months. To something I've never done rather than just like staying in a habit of something that I know probably messes with me to some extent. Like I'm I'm like I, I might as well commit and find out, you know. So I'm inspired like, yeah, by that. Pretty... Yeah. But you know what? Talk is cheap. What's your name again? Uh it's Aiden. With an Talk a. is cheap, Aiden with a A, which I knew. <laughs> No, I didn't know that. I'm lying. But um talk is cheap. So uh we'll call, hit me in 90 days. Hit me in 90 days. Let's see if you did it. I'm if you if you do it successfully. I was uh, to, I was about to say if you do it successfully, I'll give it a try, but that's not true. Uh, maybe I'll try I I'd like to try it for um I should try it for like a week. Even that I do I should try for a fucking I should try for an hour honestly before I commit People to People say that like um one quick thing I want to address before I do go. Um, yes. So people have said like they've gotten benefits from like a day, a week's a good thing to aim for. Um, but I mean, when you look at like studies and such, or not studies, but like commentary by like top scientists and doctors, they'll be like, okay, well, de- dopamine detox in and of itself is like not really scientifically correct, but it does address the reward system. And I think that's because like they're not really looking at what it does when your brain's neurons can, uh, like conversate with each other um they require dopamine to kind of like set off those receptors but when you're doing a bunch of like high dopamine activities regularly what essentially happens is the brain figures that because it's getting the same level of dopamine or it's getting like a non-normal amount of dopamine it like adjusts itself so that mm. it decreases the amount of receptors so that when you're doing those high dopamine activities, it feels, it begins to feel normal and not fun. Um, and so then when you're doing non high dopamine activities, you just feel like shit all the time. So that, that is like the concept with the whole thing. But yeah, no, I just wanted to address that real quick. Cause I, I feel like people get, give it a bad rep, but it like has worked and has real scientific basis for it. 
That d- that sounded very scientific. It's funny. I'm always you're always like uh, uh, scrambling around trying to figure out how to fix your fucking life. At least I am. Um, and it's like, no, we did. There's science on this shit. There's actually real people did uh, uh, like wrote books on how to make your brain not uh, make you hate yourself. So yeah. All right, I'll read. I'll read some books. Absolutely. Aiden with an oh, A. And- What's up, yep, Aiden? Another thing. It. Hit me. Hit me with your last thing, oh. Aiden. Hit me in the face with last it. Thing. Give me this some dopamine real- with your last thing. The no, last bit. Of, sorry, so, I talk. You talk, not me. This okay. would. Okay, so this is a real shot in the dark here. I just am curious if you remember it, but a okay. couple of year, like a year or two ago, when you're still streaming on our pan for Reddit. Yeah. I sent you a message threatening you with my juggling abilities. And you're like, oh no, juggling. I don't know if you would remember that, but like that really stuck out to me. Was it a private message or a, or like a? It was. Like a, yep. You said you. What did you say? You said I will kill you with your my juggles. No, like I don't know. I I was juggling on our pan, and you like always boosted all the way to like first. I always was like, bruh. Like all the our pan people are going to watch the gecko. I but I mean, think I, so. You just I, sent me a message I saying I I I will threaten you with my juggling abilities, and I said, "Oh no, juggling!" I think I'll destroy you with my juggling. Yeah, I don't know. That was that was a weird place for me at the time, but yeah, little 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 shot in the dark right there. To think you could have, you know, been a professional juggler. Yeah. But now you're, um, you know, sitting staring at walls trying to fix your brain. Yep, you know it. And having a, it sounds like having a good time doing it. I'm inspired. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Please, just try it. Okay. All right. You take care, Aiden, with the name. Take care, love. <laughs>